Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome back to my chill series of games. Today we're playing T-30. So these are games where I really find it very relaxing to play them. So I've been playing this quite a bit and I've done so far four of the missions and it's a lot of fun to play. It's very much a problem solver, very simple game, but also super complicated as well and a lot to manage. So we're going to do the mission, the ruined city of Boston, and see how we do in the leaderboards afterwards. Now, there is no pausing in this game, so I better give you a rundown of how it works before we actually start it. And the game lasts for exactly 30 minutes. So the backstory is the Earth was hit by an asteroid. It wiped out pretty much all the humans and the survivors that were left over, came back out and started to rebuild, then realized there was actually another asteroid coming and we're attempting to now build rockets so we can get off the planet or at least as many people off the planet as possible so that we can survive. That's the basics. So what we've got to do is gather up resources. So I'm actually going to start this now, like wood and stuff like that. So we're going to use this to clear because that's a cache. We can get that right now and we can clear out some of this stuff and get some basic resources from that. But we are going to want to start building it out and uh, Start getting resources that we need. Just building some roads. We are going to get some of these uh, logging sites going. We're going to need some actual people to man that. So that's some of the basic buildings right there. Oh yeah, we need food. So we're going to get a well going, I think, here. May as well. And we're going to get some farms set up. And these need compost, which I actually think come from here. So we'll have to wait for that to start. What else can we build while we wait? We can start getting stuff from these old skyscrapers. And we could start building power, but we don't need that yet. We need to go get some stone. Let's build out towards here. We're gonna need one of these viewpoints to see further. Another cache. These are actually really handy to get. And we need a road. We're going to get mining these mountains for stone. And uh, yeah, we have begun. So I think we're going to have a road come up here. Get another view going on there. This is good. We have this, obviously, this is Boston, this map it's supposed to be. So we've actually got like a lot of resources to work with, but need to get some good stuff going. Uh, clear out some more of this actually. I'm gonna try and get like power and stuff set up here. I'm gonna bring a road right up here. And I may as well get another viewpoint going say here so we can see more. We're gonna set up a energy transmission tower, solar panels, and then what we can do here is we can get these. These are powered versions of these. We get more resources from that. Uh, we're also gonna need probably more housing. So, what would be best to go with? Let's go with that. See if we can get one of them going. Need to find a water source as well, preferably. But that's it, we're powering that, so that is good. We've already used up a lot of this wood here. All right, clear our way through. And yeah, you can see our countdown going. So we need to get all the resources we can. and everything else in between. And then build as many rockets before the time runs out. And uh, Earth is pretty much wiped out. So I think we're gonna set up another power generator just here, solar plan on it. And this just makes a uh, plastic. We got a couple of them set up right now, just so we're bringing that in. You can see here, our forests are running out. This is very, this is like, this is the thing. This is actually a very chill game, but you have to constantly manage it. Like there is no downtime and it only gets worse as you get towards the end. 
but I have been finding it quite chill so far. And I think I've been doing it all right with it too. All right, there's not enough. There's not enough housing. Okay. I'm trying to be efficient with, uh, especially with power and food. I I hate these. These uh need to be replanted every so often, which is very annoying. There they go right now. Which I hate doing. So if we can find a water source, we can make some permanent uh, fields up. There we go, all right. So, I don't know where we're gonna go yet. But we're gonna build this all the way there. It looks as if we can't really go any further. What's behind there? It's a mountain. Good, we can get a bit, well, we've already got a viewpoint right here. That'd be kind of a waste. Yeah, never mind. Uh, not enough people getting here again. We're probably gonna need a proper big house with more people. We're gonna need more food as well. So I think I'll just get that set up now because otherwise we will be in trouble. Okay, but I need to get more viewpoints. We need to see what is out here. Uh, clear that, maybe we'll clear that. So we get stuff for clearness like, this is like metal and stuff. We still don't have enough people. Oh, we don't have enough food. That's why we don't have enough people. Yeah, that's kind of slowing us down. And <laughs> this has already used up all the wood here. So... Get doing that. Let's set up a viewpoint right here. That's water. Perfect. So let's clear this away. And we'll get down there, we'll set up some power and we'll get this done, hopefully. Like I say, we'll get uh, some better food generation going. So we're going to need a power. Uh, will that work? I don't think that works. Let's see if it does. It's going to that, but it's not going to that, which is annoying. Let me go to get rid of that. We have to move it to here instead. Hopefully that works. We got a pump here and that'll be far better to power that. I think we're good there. We do need to see further and uh, preferably probably get over the actual War, hmm, might not be possible, but we'll see. Um, let's continue to go into the there. We're gonna need to continue to get more stone. Like, it will take a while for these quarries to run out, but I want to get as much coming in as possible, really. And uh, seeing as we've got this power, we will set up another house in place here. Good. Let's see, can we cross over? We can. But we can't put a thing there. Ooh, that might be a pain in the ass. I might not be able to get a viewpoint over here to see. Clear that out, maybe I can make it, I doubt it. Not using my space here very well. I'm assuming because we're in Boston, we're going to have quite a lot of, hey, skyscrapers. So I can probably I micromanage these stupid plants. Okay, that should do it. Right. Let's clear this out. There's also a finite amount to this map as well. It's not infinite or anything. It does actually run out. So again, I think we'll set up a, this time we're going to set up different kind of thing on the edge here, which is going to be uh, this. 
these things. So this brings in uh, metal and minerals for some energy. This thing brings in plastic, which we might actually make some more of. See if that's going to have enough power. Hopefully it will. Uh, we need to put down more of these. How are we doing for time? We're at 20 minutes. All right. Got to keep managing these uh, forests as well. We got to keep the production up. You got to keep bringing in the resources all the time. If you're on a one, you're going to be in deep trouble. So we want to keep bringing them in. Now here, I think I'm going to set up a power generator, solar. I'm actually going to go for a powered variety of quarry here. And we'll connect this up with a road. And let's see if we can actually make a, a rocket. So this will show you what they look like. That's our rockets. We can make some basic ones too, but these are pretty good. And uh, these will start filling up with people and you can see our survivors going up here. So like, obviously if we get to this point, I guess we get two stars and we get three stars for getting to that point. All right, so this is all working good. Uh, we can probably grab, you can see I'm still quite new to the game. I keep not clicking on the right plumbing tab for stuff, but we're getting there. Oops, uh, get that down. So let's get another viewpoint out here. See what else is out here. Okay, just lots of forest. All right, I think. Because forests do get used up very quickly, we will just pepper this. Although it is possible to make an infinite forest as well. That'll keep bringing in new stuff. All right, what have we got here? Again, nothing particularly great. Kinda wanna work my way through and actually get to the water from, oops. I didn't mean to put that there. That doesn't really matter. What I'd love to do is punch right through this forest and uh, set up on the other side so we can just use the water. But well, this actually might be very useful, the fact we can build a road right through there. Need to clear this as well. Now I can see there's Z's going on there, so we're probably short of something. Probably people. All right, there we go. Oh, I need more energy actually, okay. Another solar panel to bump that up. We got some farms that need replanting. Yeah, this is good. If we can just get through to here and Cut our road into there, we can probably clear this whole bit and get used in the war. Right, let's attempt to clear some more. This is the actual, I think, the edge of the map. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. This is war. This, I think, is the edge. That might not be the case. Actually, looking at it, it totally isn't the case. We are at another river. Okay, this is useful, so we'll clear this. And I don't think I'll bother about that skyscraper. I'm just going to set up. Oh, we've already got a transmitter here. Oh, perfect. All right. We'll go with that. That, that, that. Let's see if that's enough to power all that. Let's see. I'd imagine we might be short on power. Yeah, they need more power. So more solars in there. That might be enough to bring it online. These look like they're having some sort of issue. Yeah, it looks like we need more power, so... More power it is. Right, we can get a road into here. Oh, there's a cache here. We may as well get that. Let's cut right through there and then also let's go through here looks like that's all skyscrapers so we can get them all going replace these farms i think we probably need a lot more people so 
Oh, wait, hold on. I need more energy. Jeez. Let me just suck it up all the energy down there. Um, we're probably gonna need like another power generation area. So I think we'll put one here with this here and we will, first of all, take a road up here so we can mine all this. Damn it. Let's clear that. I'm gonna put in say two of these buildings just to bump up our people. Wait for that to clear. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, pull that up. And I think I'm gonna try putting in powered quarries all along here. I'm not sure we'll have enough power to power that there, but we might. That's gonna go up to there. This is gonna get to here. This is gonna to go to here. We need to clear, say this and this. We can put a few points there. We are going to... We're down 15 minutes. Half the game gone so far. This is going to need... No, we've got power for this. And this has enough power too. Perfect. Alright, we're going to put our road in here. And that means we can put a mountain-based viewpoint in. Oh, look at that. Two caches. Uh, I think we'll clear this. Uh, we definitely probably should make some more rockets. Uh, probably means as well we could easily fit another one of these buildings in. Right. Clear this. Um, ba -ba -boom. Get these forests out of the way. Oh, forgot to manage this. Get that in there. Get a viewpoint in. This could have been cleared a lot earlier if we were being more sensible here. All right, uh, looking pretty good. We're gonna need uh, probably a power grid here with a solar. We're gonna set up this, get that going. We're then gonna bring in, these rockets have to be made next to the roads. It does make it a bit harder to manage. Once this is clear, we'll start getting like more food. How did this go? Yeah, this went really well actually for the triple. That may be why we're out of food, or at least I think that's why we're in trouble right now. Actually, we're down on energy. What is the, where's, where are we lacking power? Lacking power here. So where is our nearest grid? Well, we can definitely put one here, or we could put it here, here, let's put it here. I think I'll actually take a road off of here and up. Yeah, that should work. That needs more energy. Again, more solar panels in there. Just try and bump that up. We're pulling out the wood from here, so that's good. These guys are definitely low on energy. I think we're just going to need to put another gr uh, solar panel in behind there. Get that powered up. Good. We've just cleared that out. So what we got for power? There's nothing over here. So I'm going to get set up with a... Where are you? Pump. And food. Either side of that. Replant these farms. All right, that's looking pretty good. I think we need more plastics and stuff, probably. But right now, let's just see. I need to power these, but right now we're just gonna get that down. Uh, yeah, that should actually be pretty much everything, right? Just need to get the power to it. Is that working now? Shoot, I think that was a bad position. Uh, there instead. Clear that, clear that, clear that. Road out to here. We can get another quarry underway. Uh, these quarries have already been eaten up. This is perfect real estate now for rockets. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Yeah, see there's like 
tons of potential here for much more rockets. I think, though... Oh, I don't know. First we'll put that down there. Wow, how do we have power in this area? We got plenty of power, so... Let's get more quarry set up. You know what we've been neglecting is our wood. So wood, wood. Get wood in there too. Road to connect that up. We need to clear that. Get a road up to here. Uh, we need a road to clean that out. Yeah, we could definitely do with more roads into there. This will be something we're probably, I bet we're low on wood. You can see our numbers over here. Yeah, wood is not brilliant. We're not exactly doing great on it. Let's see. want to make sure we're getting as much wood in as we can right now. Okay. Now this is just a perfect area to get a whole bunch of rockets set up now that we've quarried this whole area. We'll pull our road out from here. Clean this out, clean this out. We'll get a viewpoint here. Oh, this could be a handy little area maybe. Yeah. Uh, farms. I'm thinking of putting some more farms here, potentially. So, like I'm thinking, how can we do that? Could that, will that power a pump down here? Let's see, uh, pump. Looks like it will. That's good. Um, and that probably means we can fit like... Yeah, is that going to be enough? Is there going to be enough power? Maybe. I'm gonna get more rockets in. We're up to 200k. We're almost at the two stars. Eight minutes left though. What are we missing here? Stone. Stone's our major issue. Okay. Push that out to there. We're gonna get power generation going. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get a lot of quarries set up and powered in this area. So, and I'm making sure to make it powered quarries. And we need to keep up our wood production. We're gonna, I think, honestly make it a lot better. So we need to massively get this infrastructure going. You can see these roads. <laughs> oh, they're nuts. Um, right. Build some more and see what we run off. Yeah, it's definitely stone we're having issues with. Let's just go freaking ham on quarries right now. Uh, gonna go basic ones. I'm not gonna worry about powered ones. Uh, this needs to be next to a road. I think it's probably worth as well getting a few extra buildings going. That's good, we can get that. We can get a few extra things rocking and rolling down here. Come on. All right. I think we will give this power so that we can put in one of these and a powered quarry. I'm also going to throw in another housing estate or whatever the hell they're called. Uh, we're going to clean out some of this. Let's get all these rock things cleaned up. So I'll just bump up our rock supply. These quarries are getting eaten up. Wait, there's no freaking road to those ones. Oopsie. Make another road to here. I was powering that area. 
Uh, it's still good, so we can definitely get another powered quarry going in there. And a road to there. Road to there. Now is that in power range? It is. Awesome. Okay, rockets again. Uh, I'm not too fast about where I put these, it's just as long as I can. Alright, stone is our issue. After that it's minerals. But yeah, stone is our only real problem. If we can solve that in five minutes, we can make a lot of freaking stuff. Now, just to make sure we don't run out of wood or something here. I am going to make sure we've got plenty of wood coming in too. Because wood is needed for some of the basic stuff. We are getting close to the three stars, but we're definitely not there. We're also having issues here, which is the fact these aren't powered, I think. No, wait, these are totally powered. It's this that's... Yeah, it's just that. Okay, never mind. Don't need that here then. Um, right. Let's get all these quarried up. Again, let's set up power for these quarries. We're going to get them... Because powered ones are a lot better. And we're going to connect that up. We're going to power quarry these out. Uh, we can't get that one. We can't. There's not much actually when it comes to just straight. Um, I'm going to slap that in there just because I want to clean as much of that up as possible. Reveal as much of it as possible. We need a lot more quarries and we need them now. So. Power grid. Hey. Powered quarries. Let's go. Let's clear these rocks. Let's get that. Um, And uh, get making rockets. Again, it's just the rocks that we're needing. You wouldn't think you would need many rocks to make rockets, but yes, you do. Um, just want to make a clearing through here so we can just take a road straight up. Again, I think we'll get power over here. I uh, saw power generation going. Powered quarries. Uh, three minutes. We are running out of time. Uh, another freaking now. Got caches everywhere, but we don't have is. So I might have to just start panicking and making the cheapest possible rockets, uh, pretty much immediately. I'm going to get this actually set up as a new place for rockets. We're going to need a lot of uh, area to do it. And we'll need like power generation in that vicinity, so. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to make another house just so we have them out here. We're going to continue to make the best rockets we can. Oh boy. So we can make these. The problem is these need stone too, but only 50. And they can carry 400 survivors. This can get 100 out. No, this can get 12,000 out. So this is definitely way better. But yeah, we don't have much in the way of options now. So let's get building a bunch of these. Problem is we are using up our stone to do it. And with one minute 30 left, we don't have much in the way of time to do anything significant. Not like we're going to be able to just get a bunch of stuff going here.
One minute 12 left. We appear to have met our three stars, so we've done that at least. The other thing as well, it does take time for your dudes to get into the rocket, so we don't want to be sitting around with these resources not used. I don't think these ones need power, I think. Doesn't seem like it. Which is handy as well. Oh, we're just gonna put them all down. I don't know how many people will actually get in them in time. Oh, look at that. I wasn't even connected to a freaking road. Don't know why I'm connecting it now. It doesn't freaking matter, but uh, uh give me a uh, shoot. <laughs> I just need some more roads somewhere. Oh, we're not going to be able to do anything else, I think. There they go. They're leaving. Well, we got over half a million. I'll take that, you know, that's something. But there they go. So we blasted off with the final result of 553,600 people. And we did, we're 20 on the leaderboard. That's not too bad. I'm happy enough with that. Ooh, there we go. So yeah, this was T minus Terry. It's a very chill game to begin with and it does get very hectic. I don't think many people have this game yet. Uh, let me see. I'm 12th on that leaderboard. That's not bad. And you can see that I bronzed the first one and the second one. Two starred that one and then got the gold with the three stars on those. It's a good game. It is actually quite enjoyable. And uh, really is quite nice to sit back and play. And definitely burns 30 minutes very, very quickly. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.